Five Belmont seniors took the court one final time on Saturday for the annual Music City All-Star Classic. Shane Dainsby, Matthew Dotson, Henry Harris, Andy Wick, and Atlantic Sun Player of the Year Alex Renfro played aside and against college basketball standouts from around the state. Before the main event, the seniors competed in a three-point contest. Dainsby and Dotson both made it to the final round, but Dotson coolly coasted to victory. It was pretty nice. Uh, it was fun. No pressure, really. So, Although the three-point event was just for fun, Dainsby got serious about scoring in the actual game. He had 32 on the day, including some devastating bombs from beyond the arch. I mean, it felt great. So I just kept going in. The basket just seemed real big, so it felt big. So I just kept seeing it. Thanks to Danes being that big basket, Belmont's side kept a healthy lead through the first three quarters. And while this was an all-star game, at the start of the fourth quarter, home coach Mark Pittman wanted to do something special for the five Bruins. Yeah, Coach Pittman thought that it would be special to put up all five of us in at the same time, so yeah, it was fun. One more time. But as all the Bruins took the floor, things began to look like deja vu all over again as they found themselves across from three of the ETSU players who had knocked them out of this year's Atlantic Sun Tournament. This time, things were a little less tense. Thanks for interest in playing against those guys. You know, they talking the whole time, we talking the whole time, just having a lot of fun. In the end, Belmont's team couldn't overcome the onslaught of ETSU's Kevin Tiggs, and they lost by two, 122-124. I feel good, man. It was just it was about having fun. I, I mean, I, of course I wanted to win, win being a competitor, but it really, really wasn't that big a deal. Uh, it, was, it was good to play in the gym for a uh, Maybe the last time, I'm not sure. I mean, if, if I ever get a chance to play again, maybe, I don't know, some kind of way in the future, I don't know, but uh, it was good to play again in here for the last time. Each senior was passionate about what he would miss the most here at the Curb and at Belmont. You know, just being a part of a team, and, uh, you know, these guys are my best friends and we used to have so much fun playing basketball together. So. Uh, just, just everybody, really, I mean, everybody's so nice, the fans are good, the coaches are good, just, just glad to be a part of Belmont alumni. Fans always gave yeah, us a lot of support, I mean, whenever we played in here, and, uh, a lot of a lot of parents, uh, just a lot of random people, just always saying congratulations, rather. You know, so we won or lost. Uh, you know, guys on the team, coaches, the fans that are here. You know, we got great fans, and uh, you know, it's just gonna it's not gonna be it's, it's gonna be tough not seeing them and and hanging out with them. But uh, I, I mean, that's what I'm gonna remember most from Belmont was the people around the basketball program. Man, you know, just just the crowd, man. Just being here, knowing it's my home. You know, this is my home gym, and you know, just spending three years in here. You know, I'm gonna miss it next year. While Renfro and Dainsby will try and continue their basketball careers at the professional level this summer, Wick and Dotson will be getting married, and Harris plans on continuing school to become a teacher. From the Curb Event Center, I'm Derek Moore, Vision News.